when setting accounts to download to the data file inbox folders from another computer or OS installation. Windows won't normally register them no matter what permissions you set on the data file. Let me show you a little hack to get around this. To copy the Outlook accounts from the source computer, run Registry Editor. Go to your Outlook profile location in the registry. This particular location is for an Outlook 365 profile. Right click and export your Outlook profile. To see what Outlook profiles are available, go to the control panel. If you have Outlook 2010, the profile location in the registry is different. Importing an Outlook 2010 profile to Outlook 365, you need to edit the export file. Replace the old registry location to the new Outlook 365 location. Save it as a separate file. To import the Outlook profile, Simply merge the export file into the destination computer registry. Check in the control panel if the import was successful. From here, we can update the Outlook data files to the network location of the source computer data files. Windows stop asking for a data file location, we can update other data file locations at the data files tab. Network locations are indicated by UNC file paths. Select an email account and click settings to update the data file location. Once done updating, go to the email tab. Here, we set the email inbox folders. You'll notice that it won't register since the data file is from another computer. To get around that, I will copy all the network data files to the local computer. and use them to set the inbox folders to new local data files. To trick Outlook to point to network data file inbox locations like what I've done here. I'm simply using the copied data files for file naming purposes. We have to add and create temporary data file for each inbox destination, which Outlook readily accepts. The trick is to remove it from the data files list afterwards. which causes Outlook to point to the previously set network inbox. To successfully do this on the other accounts, you must click the close button first and repeat the process. Make sure that you don't get this message when removing a temporary data file from the data files list.
This should be the message that you get in order for it to work. You may now delete your local copy of data files. Put in all your account passwords. They were not included during import. should now download to the network data files.